All right, welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. We are back in the platform bedroom. So close to getting this thing finished up, be getting it all buttoned up. And so I wanna take you guys through uh, most of the final steps here uh, for getting this, uh, this done. We're gonna be taking care of some trim work. We're gonna be doing the desk, um, a lot of the kind of finishing touches and painting things. And so uh, we'll show you where we're at right now. I've got a lot of things kind of prepped and ready to put together. So let me show you where the desk is at and what we've done since last time we saw you. Okay, so I've got a lot of, uh, of wood kind of prepped around here and cut. I've done most of the cutting outside already, but we've got uh, some quarter round that we'll be putting around the edge of the bed just to hide that, that little gap. Um, I could have mudded that with drywall mud, just forced it in there and sanded it right into a nice 90 uh, corner there, but uh, this trim is a little bit more solid and if there's any expansion and contraction between the wall and the wood that way, this will always hide that. And so. So we uh, use some quarter round. I always like to use the actual wood stuff instead of that plastic stuff. Um, I just think it's a little bit nicer. So, so that's what we've done here. We've got all the all the corners mitered and everything is uh, is all set in place. We just have to brad nail that in or finish nail that in. So the desk has all of its uh, all the plywood on. We've done all the mudding, so we've covered up all the little screw holes and any of the kind of imperfections where the plywood came together and the uh, corners of the stairs and all that kind of stuff, those little gaps around the corners there. I did all that with drywall mud instead of uh, putting trim in there since that's mostly plywood to plywood. Uh, I may end up having to put trim here if that cracks. So everything's all boxed in and ready to go. We've got our desk piece. This is the plywood that will go on the top. That's cut and ready to go. We've got some supports that we're gonna be putting in uh, a couple inches lower on the inside. We'll have another shelf underneath that desk. And so that's what we'll be kind of putting together first. So it'll be a lot of assembly here at the beginning, and then we'll get into how we're gonna finish that desktop. Let's dig in and get to work. this wall uh, nailer, uh, 18 gauge nailer, quite a, quite a few years ago, and I've been, been super happy with it. I had a quarter cable, but it didn't take a two inch brad, a two inch nails, which I wanted to use for uh, some flooring project I do. Uh, so this thing has been, been, a, been a good nail. For all the three quarter inch round I'm doing, I have been using these uh, inch and a half nails. It just gives a good bite. You're going through a three quarter inch of 
uh, trim, plus you're going through a half inch of uh, drywall and then into a stud or, or whatever behind there. So I want to make sure we get a good bite on that shirt, especially since kids are going to be bumping this stuff around and everything. Looks like we've got enough nails. So I'm no pro when it comes to this kind of finished carpentry stuff, but generally what I like to do is I put all the trim in place and then uh, nail it all together at the end. So I'm looking for a stud here. I see a nail probably where the uh, drywall was screwed or nailed into the stud there. So uh, you can use a stud finder too, but, and then I can also just go down into my plywood. Either way is fine. And then what you're left with is uh, this, these little, little holes from the brads. But uh, once we, paint over this and everything even with just primer or regular paint it'll fill these in um, if you're not painting over them these are primed already they come primed but they're not really painted a lot of people just leave them primed but you can take uh, white caulk and just dab a little bit across that it'll cover it This is just some one by four that I'm going to use as trim underneath these windows. There was a, a mid-level piece of wide piece of trim that went around the whole room here that we took off and so uh, this is going to get all covered by this new piece of trim. And I'll probably have to do a little, little touch up on the window. So So the next task is to take this lip off the uh, back side of this desk. So uh, <laughs> there was a table saw cutting malfunction on my part and uh, I, I put, this, put this through here and, and it just it got kind of bowed out and so uh, this is straight uh, and so what I need to do is just take this lip off and cut it flush with this. So I have what's called a flush trim bit. It has a bearing on the bottom that will ride right, right along this and then this part of the shaft there cuts and will, will shave this uh, piece of the plywood off. I've never used a flush trim bit in this router before. This is an old uh, black and decker router that i've had since i was a teenager um, it's one of the first tools i ever got actually and it's, it's been a good tool but uh, i've never used a flush trim bit i've only used round overs and other things like that so i <laughs> if i screw this up i'm gonna have to go get another piece of plywood because i don't have another piece this big so we'll see how this goes wish me luck So we just have this little spot left that there's probably just an eighth of an inch maybe back here that uh, needs to be shaved back where the router wouldn't fit because of the wall. So we'll just sand that. Um, I have a, this is another tool that has been pretty handy. Uh, I have a couple different sanders, but this uh, small orbital sander is my favorite. Um, these pads just Velcro on and uh, it's got you know holes in here where a lot of the dust gets blown into the thing. It'll catch a lot of it, which is nice. And I feel like this is becoming a tool commercial, but a lot of these tools are handy to have. And I, you, know, you don't start with all these things. It takes time. And uh, over the years, you pick up, you know, this year, you get this, and the next year, you get that. And as you do these projects, more and more of them, you uh, 
you, you collect more tools and that makes things easier and faster and your projects turn out better. So for whenever I do these, these plywood type uh, projects, I always just use drywall mud uh, to just to kind of smooth over the edges. So a lot of times I'll put it just on the edge of the plywood here. Um, any of these, you know, just tiny little ridges and gaps between the plywood, I uh, mud that all up. So this stuff over here, it's all been, been mudded and sanded, so it'll, it'll be pretty smooth. You'll still be able to see a little bit of the joint there. It's not perfect. I, I probably could feather this out further and make it look better. But one of the things that if you don't put that drywall mud on the edge, like this edge right here of this plywood, um, even if you paint this, you'll still see these little you know differences and these little lines in the plywood. And so I'll come by with some drywall mud. We'll, we'll fill in these little gaps here like this, and we'll, we'll kind of feather this back. I'll do the same thing on the front. We'll, we'll mud this back here, and then we'll fill in these little screw holes and stuff. I'm not gonna worry too much about the inside uh, of this. Um, I'll get the edges here and probably the edge of that. I may uh, try to fill in this gap, um, at least back to here somewhere, because uh, this got a little bit, a little bit, uh, this cut came out a little crooked here, so. So we'll do a little bit of cleanup. We'll, we'll kind of mud this all nice and flush. We'll do the same thing on the back here. We'll, We'll uh, put some drywall mud along that, and then we'll let that dry with some sanding, and we'll get ready to paint. Well, we're finally making pretty good progress on this bedroom. So it's just about done. We'll do a final reveal when, uh, when everything is uh, decorated and all completed in here. We've got some, shrimp, some, some more painting to do and things like that. But we do have the, the gray paint first coat on. We've got some finish work to do on the desk. We're gonna do a nice uh, polyurethane finish on that, nice sanded smooth, so she'll have a good surface to write on uh, for homework and, and other stuff. But uh, she's already moved in. Couldn't wait to, uh, <laughs> couldn't wait for the finishing touches is it was time for her to get in here and so she's she's been enjoying it already for a few days got some finishing work for that on that trap door and uh we'll, we'll take you guys along for that it should be a lot of fun it should be a, a cool little little uh, uh addition to this room and so uh look forward to that video here coming out soon don't forget to hit thumbs up on the video today hopefully you guys have been liking the, the platform uh bedroom renovation series it has turned out uh kind of beyond our expectations it's been really good uh, she's very happy with it. The SL family mom is very happy with it. And so uh, that's all I can ask for. Everybody's, everybody's happy and likes it. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.